Welcome to our to the day two of the LIS month celebration webinar series of the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute. We are happy and blessed to have you with all to have all of you with us today. And um, yeah, we have katulad po ng sinabi ko kanina, we have um, attendees from all around the Philippines. So thank you so much. And um, Hi, I am Irene Alice Brillo, Science Research Specialist of the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute, one of the licensed librarians here. And um, just to clarify, um, the Science and Technology Information Institute is not an academic institution, so hindi po siya school. It is, uh, we are actually the information and marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology. So we hold the library and uh, we also have here our uh, documentation and creative and production division. And both. So um, to start with our session, may I request everyone to please rise for our opening prayer to be led by Ms. Keisha Yunis Romulo, Science Research Specialist 2 of SEII. Let's put ourselves in the loving presence of the Lord. Dear Almighty Father, ever-living God, we glorify and thank thee your name. You have showered us with so much blessings and your presence continually reminds us of your faithfulness and guidance. We humbly ask you to shower our speakers today with your greatest inspiration so that they may share the most of their knowledge, heart, and soul to their respective topics. May we also observe the invaluable knowledge, experiences, and put into practice what we may learn today. We pray that you bless all the committees in charge that they may be able to fulfill their tasks responsibly, that the objectives they have set may all be achieved. Your infinite blessing would mean the success of this webinar. May we be a living witness of your genuine love through the enactment of knowledge acquired through this activity. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay, so here is a recap of our webinar schedules. Okay, yesterday we had our day one. And we had two sessions. The first one was, do you want to build an archive, an introduction to core archival functions? This was delivered by Dr. Ira S. Buenrostro Kabab. And then the second one was delivered at 2 to 4 p.m. This was entitled Introduction to Gender Sensitivity for Librarians and delivered by Ms. Maria Giselle A. Cruz. Today we are having the webinar on improving library services using Google Collaborative Tools and this will be delivered by Ms. Maricel C. Paya later after this short opening program. And tomorrow, we will have two sessions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So the first session will be how to speak on a digital stage and capture the limelight. This will be delivered by our very own director, Richard P. Burgos. And then in the afternoon, this will be entitled Control Your Records Before They Control You. The Basics of Records Management and Records Control to be delivered by Mr. Martin, uh, archivist from the Department of Foreign Affairs. Hey, as we go along with this seminar or webinar, kindly take note of this house rules. Hey, first one, Please um, keep your microphones on mute. For our particip uh, Zoom participants, please use the Q&A feature for questions. This can be found at the lower right corner for laptop users, while for mobile phone users, it is found at the upper right corner. You may chat your questions while the talk is 
ongoing. While for our Facebook live streaming viewers, you may just comment your questions. All these uh, questions will be consolidated and answered by our speakers in the Q&A portion. So we would like to uh, remind or reiterate that we will not be entertaining questions that is uh, outside our topic. Okay? In the next one, please uh, be polite, pay attention, and actively participate. We will be asking you to fill out a feedback or evaluation form at the end of each session in exchange for your e-certificate. And finally, the whole duration of the webinar series is recorded and uh, we will be sending this through your email. Thank you so much. Okay. And to formally welcome everyone for this morning session, we have with us our director of the SPII, Mr. Richard P. Burgos. Take it away, Sir Richard. Okay, so I hope you can hear me now. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second day of our Library and Information Services Month celebration. I am very happy to join you today. And so if only I would be allowed to share my screen. Um, let me just bring that up. Okay. Okay, so como esta po kayo? Ayan. So thank you for responding to the invitation of the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute to participate in this webinar. We continue with our thrust to communicate science for the people despite the pandemic, all right? And we all know that uh, the new normal is no longer optional. When the lockdown happened on March this year, all right, so we said no more. Library closed, nobody can come and visit our library anymore. But we remained open online, okay? And in fact, so many things have happened, exciting developments happened because all of a sudden everybody is online. We have the same platform, all right? So the new normal, nothing to be afraid of. It's not optional, it is here to stay. And in a way, it's also a blessing, okay? Because it allows us to serve our public better, more effectively online, okay? So the pandemic caught us by surprise, but we quickly shifted to the new normal. In fact, we became the channel for the world to feel the heartbeat the vital signs of DOST as it champions science for the people. And the winds of the digital fate blew in our favor because our main programs, our main sales, Starbucks and DOST TV are themselves digital natives. So that's our unique positioning. We want to win as one. As everybody else wants to do, we want to win this battle as one. Now, how do we integrate our information systems to better serve the public in the new normal? That is the question that haunts us here at DOST STII. And I think that's a question that you should also really ponder upon every day in this lockdown and beyond, all right? Now, you remember Ms. Tapia? Sino sa inyo naka-remember sa kanya? She became famous in Iskul Bukol, no? 1977. Sino pa ngayon ang pinakamatanda dito sa inyo? All right. Anyway, Ms. Tapia, Meli Tagasa, may she rest in peace. Ms. Tapia, the actress and the role, she's dead. She's passed on. She died in 2018, right? But that also signaled a shift, okay? 
yung librarians natin, okay? Very effectively portrayed here by Miss Tapia. Okay? Hindi na po sila yung estricto or yung pss, bawal ng ingay sa library. Okay? The role of librarians has shifted from being strict disciplinarians, from being guards, you know, battle scarred guards, to gentle guides who will allow people to find the information that they need and hopefully be able to change their lives. So the role of librarians has shifted pretty much, okay? And I hope you as librarians who are attending this feel that in you, that you are doing an important role today, especially, okay? Pandemic tayo ngayon, but there's another more insidious threat besetting all of us. And it is the infodemic. Oh my God. And dami daming nalilito na, na way, way lane. Okay? They, they are able to find information easily, but many times it's the wrong information. Okay? And even politicians are riding on to that. Okay? So, kita naman natin. The rise of uh, Twitter <clears throat> as a gatekeeper of information. They can now censor what you post online. Right? That's something to watch, by the way. Let's uh, watch for that. Okay? So to survive and thrive through the pandemic, what do we need to do? Let me venture a model. To thrive and survive, we need to do PPE. Ano yung sabihin yan? Kailangan mag-pivot. Kung hindi kaya, in one manner, let's try another way to get things done. All right? Yung project deliverables natin, kung hindi natin kakayanin because of the restrictions, find another way to get it delivered. Okay? So, looking for alternatives, looking for solutions, that is pivoting. If you don't have that ability, if you don't have the agility, then you will not thrive in a pandemic. The second item here is perform. Hindi porque nag-pandemic ay titigil ka na lang sa isang sulo. We need to perform. We need to deliver pa rin, di ba? Especially because we continue to be paid for our services. So we need to perform. We have to show that we are worth the salaries that we receive. Lastly, it's not enough to just perform, just to get a few things done, just to file a report of accomplishments. We need to excel. We need to excel because this is the stage that has been set up for information brokers just like us, just like you, librarians. So, pivot, perform, excel. Yan yung PPE that will ensure that you will survive the pandemic. And not only that, that you will thrive through the pandemic. So, Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the inputs of these uh, three days as we celebrate Library and Information Services Month. Um, so keep safe and yes, get your notes ready because uh, there are a lot of things that we're going to talk about in these three days. Thank you very much. At mabuhay lahat. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much, Sir Richard. So indeed, during this pandemic, we need to um, cloth ourselves with the PPE. According to Sir Borgos, we have the pivot where our creativity, resourcefulness, and agility needs to be brought out in order for us to look for alternatives to have or to in order for us to attain also the second P, which is to perform or deliver what is expected of us. But uh, it should not be just to meet what is expected of us, but we need to excel. We need to exceed the expectations. Hey, so um, this morning we also have with us our interpreter, Ma'am Rosalie Mangaspak. Thank you so much, Ma'am, for having us today.
Okay, for our, uh, we, we're now going to start with our session. Okay, so our speaker for today's session is a consistent academic awardee. She finished her um, Bachelor and Master of Arts also in Education. Um, bachelor pala niya, sorry, is um, in Library Science and her Master is Master of Arts in Education in Library and Information Science at the Philippine Normal University. So at present, uh, our speaker is an information officer too in the Knowledge Management in Information Technology Service under the Department of Health. So she currently heads the Portal Management Unit, Knowledge Management Division. And she's been an active user of Google applications for productivity and collaboration since 2012. Please welcome Ms. Maricel C. Paya. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me clear? Um, Marisa. Me just, um, share my screen. Oops. Okay. Can you see my screen na po? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm um, sorry. Yeah. So again, good morning, everyone. So before I start my talk, I would like to thank the Department of Science and Technology, STII, for inviting me to share with you um, the tools that I am um, uh, personally using and ginagamit ko rin sa office, syempre. Ginagamit namin dito. Um, disclaimer lang muna, if you have attended the knowledge management training that con um, conducted by Nutrinet and the PNU Lisa as free online training workshop on library tools, this session will probably be uh, a re review na lang for you, but I added some points to focus on, on so, since our um, topic is to improve the library services. Yeah. So today, um, we will explore the features of one of the most popular and free online tools for productivity and collaboration that can help us um, to improve our library services, especially at this time where when we are dealing with this current um, sudden, sudden change brought by current pandemic. So, um, before that, gusto ko muna po kayong tanungin kung ano bang nasi-feel nyo today. So, please give me um, one word to describe what you feel today. So, to answer this, um, you can, pwede nyo pong i- uh, puntahan itong QR code and or punta po kayo sa slido.com again slido.com then ilalagay niyo lang po yung code na DOST so yung may mga pong diyan pwede niyo pong i-picturean or i-capture yung QR code na nakikita niyo sa screen then click on um, type in the DOST as the code ayan Chill, may meron ng sumasagot, exhausted, happy, anxious, ayan, sleepy, ayan, sleepy din po ba kayo? Bakit po kaya tayo sleepy? Sleepy ba dahil 11-11? <laughs> Joke. <laughs> um, ayan, happy, happy, blessed, ayan, work mode, pressured, nervous, ayan. Sometimes frustrated and serious, but in a normal way. Okay, sleepy, not feeling well, productive. Ayan. So, nakikita natin na ang pinakamarami sa atin dito sa participants ay feeling blessed, 
feeling excited and feeling happy. At least naman, di ba? Um, yung mga maraming um, sagot ay mga positive pa rin. So, um, mag-apologize lang din muna po ako kung hindi nyo nakikita, kung nakikita nyo na hindi ako nakatingin sa camera. I'm using two screen para in preparation po mamaya. So, ayan. So, 94. We have 95. Ayan. Very, ano ha, very participative yung mga participants natin dito. Ayan. Ayan. So, I think we can move on. Ayan. O okay, sige. Wait lang. May mga sumasagot pa. Okay, sige. I'll give you, I think, one minute na lang to answer this question. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motivated? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think we can move forward to the next slide. This is enough. Okay. Easy. Ayan. So yung sagot nyo kanina, blessed, blessed, excited, happy, motivated. Yan yung tanong ko ngayon. Ganito ka rin ba ngayon? Stress, pressured, sobrang parang ang daming ginagawa, hindi na natatapos. Yan. Next. Yan. Gusto ko naman pong malaman kung asan po kayo na. Nasa bahay po ba kayo? Or nasa office? So, ayan, nasa, nasa work, nasa office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work from home. Building 9. Hi kayo ma'am. Nasa building 9. I, I know who you are. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sige po. I'll give you some time to answer. Ayan, may gutom pa. Office, hungry daw siya. Oh, oh on my way to work pa lang si ma'am or si sir. Ayan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think okay na. Ayan. So, bakit ko kayo tinanong kung asan na kayo? Ganito rin po ba yung senaryo sa library ngayon? Sa office natin? So, empty yung library. Um, walang um, library patrons. Ayan. So, bakit? At nangyari to? Kasi nga, pandemic. And some of us are working at home. Some of us are working at the office. Siyempre, yung mga sudyante, wala dyan. Kung nasa school library kayo, nagtatrabaho. And asan yung customer natin? Everything. Oops. Wait. Everything is online, right? This is the reality today. This is the situation today. So, as you can see, shopping is online. May Lazada, may Shopee. Diba? Um, sinadya ko talagang ilagay yan kasi 11-11 ngayon. <laughs> so, learning is online. May mga classroom na. May mga um, learning management system tayo na ginagamit. And working is online din. Work from home yung iba, yung iba nasa office din. Pero most of the communication, um, online na tayo nakikipag-communicate to our colleagues, right? Kahit kami dito sa office, uh, pumapasok kami. Pero yung meeting namin, uh, mas ano na siya, online na siya. Ayan. So, pa kahit news, um, online na rin, di ba? Ayan. So, now. Since 
Um, alam na natin kung ano yung situation natin ngayon. Um, tools and um, for productivity and collaboration are very important, right? It's, it's very important nowadays. And luckily, there are a lot of online tools that we can use depending on our needs. And they are free. Some are free, some are not free, pero... Marami pa rin tayong mahahanap online na makakatulong ta sa atin to improve our library services. So, now, let's move forward to um, exploring the Google products. What are the Google tools that we can use to improve the services? And ano ba yung mga services natin sa library na pwede natin paggamitan ng mga products na to? Yeah. Okay. So, Sino po sa inyo ang may alam ng Google's mission? Ito yung mission ng Google. Sabi nila, our mission is to organize the world information and make it universally accessible and useful. Very librarian, right? Tama ba? Ano ba? Um, um, do you agree na very librarian po itong ating... Um, <laughs> Uh, itong mission, uh, mission ng Google? Yes, ma'am. Very librarian. Yan. That's why I love Google. Kasi parang talagang sobrang pang library siya. Okay. So, ito naman yung mga, ano po, uh, mga um, services na pwede natin paggamitan ng mga Google products and Google tools. So, to get answers for a query, or sinasabi natin sa library, reference service, and yung um, pag nag-research uh, yung mga student natin or yung mga customers natin, we can use Google, um, Google, the search engine, and the Google map, of course, for the location. Um, to stay in touch or to communicate for, example, document delivery for reference service then we can use Gmail. Sorry for the um, logo ha, kasi hindi pa yan yung updated. Iba na yung logo niya, iba na yung kulay niya. And you, you can use Meet, Google Meet, para sa mga online meetings, sa mga pa-seminar din natin. Yan. Sa mga orientations, we can use that. And to organize staff, so familiar po ba kayo dito sa mga logos na to? The first one is the Google Photos. Para sa mga pictures ng mga library, sa mga events sa library. Um, the next one is the contacts. Google contacts. Itong third is the Google calendar. And the fourth one is my favorite, Google Keep. Next is we can also use Google products for productivity, for collaboration, and to work smarter. So, I think familiar naman po tayo no? dito sa Google Drive, Google Form. Um, this one is Google Slide, Google Sheets, and Google Docs. Okay, next. Yeah. So, here are some of the Google collaborative tools. I put some kasi nga di pa ito yung lahat ng um, products ni Google na pwede natin gamitin. But these are the most popular and mostly used, I think. Lalo na kasi um, parang, uh, parang online version lang siya nung Word documents, Word, um, product, um, Microsoft Word products. Yan. So we have Gmail, we have Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, and Google Yan. Meron pa dyang iba, yung Google Sites, Google Classroom, kung naka-Google Suite kayo. Yan. So, um, for this morning, we will focus po on exploring the uh, features of these tools. Since ito yung um, request sa akin ng STII na i-present sa inyo, how can we maximize these tools? Yan. So, first, Yan, let's go. Let's maximize the Google Collaborative Tools. The first tool is the Gmail. So later on, papakita ko po sa inyo yung actual niya na um, 
kung paano natin siya gagamitin. Medyo hindi ko na lang kayo i required na sundan ako kasi we only have until 11 a.m. And usually, um, tinitray namin ito mga three days. Pero since we only have until 11 a.m., papakita na lang natin yung mga features niya na, na you can use and you can do, you can practice um, after this. So don't worry kasi yung um, presentation naman po na hinanda ko, ando na yung step by step. So okay, let's um, go back sa Gmail. So Gmail is a free email. Of course, it's a free email service developed by Google. Um, users can access Gmail on the web and using third-party programs that synchronize email content. Gmail is available on business plan with customized domain names. So, example po nun is if you are in the um, on organization, you can customize your email na hindi siya at gmail.com. Kunyari kami um, at doh.gov.ph pero ang gamit namin plat platform is gmail. Pwedeng ganon. Um, if you are in the school naman, um, ang alam ko meron tayong Google Suite for education. I think libre lang po ito. Tama po ba? Sorry po kasi wala ako sa school ngayon. And so ano yung features niya? Avail it is available as Available as a web application. Pwede rin siya sa mobile app. For Android, iOS, Windows, and Blackberry. Um, I think ito na yung pinaka-popular and pinaka-mostly um, used email since, di ba, if you are using Android, you have to connect your Gmail account para mak- um, magamit mo yung mga services nila like Gmail, yung calendar, and other um, Google stuff. Yan. So, may inline action buttons tayo. Isa to sa mga um, mga new features niya. Confidential mode, schedule send, common webmail features, my contacts, mail filter, labels, and also you can um, make folders para sa mga emails nyo. So, um, every time na tinitrain ko itong Gmail, lagi kong ina-emphasize yung confidential mode and schedule send. Kasi ito yung pinaka, I think, useful for the librarians. Especially though for those who are um, handling the system, your library system, and you're giving passwords and credentials. So, you can use um, confidential mode. So, how do we maximize Gmail? Yan. We can use the confidential mode, the schedule send, the template, and we can set up mail delegation. So, um, please give me some time lang po. I'll exit this presentation and mag-move forward lang tayo doon sa... Um, live na demo para makita nyo po how we can use these features. Okay? Ma'am Maricel, nakamute po kayo. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Ayan, kaya pala walang sumasagot. Sorry po. Okay. Um, can you see the screen na po? The inbox of Gmail? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Yan. So now we will explore po 
the features of um, Gmail na I shared to you a while ago. Let me just um, check it. Okay, so um, the first feature that I want to share um, with you is the confidential mode. So, lagi ko tong sinasabi na this is used by us dun sa, dun sa team namin pag nagbibigay kami ng mga passwords, ng mga credentials. So, paano ba siya gawin? This is so easy that Siguro hindi lang natin napapansin, pero um, pwede natin siyang gawin basta may Gmail tayo. So, to do that, click ko post. Yan. Sa button, dito sa bandang baba, makikita nyo yung mga icons, mga features niya. etong nakikita nyo yung um, parang ano siya, key, uh, lock with time. Click yun lang siya, turn confidential mode on or off. Yan. Tapos, papipiliin po kayo kung um, ano po yung expiration niya. Will it expire in one week ba? One day, one month, three months, or in five years nyo siya um, e-retain. Yan. So, kunyari, one day, since halimbawa, bibigay kayo ng um, password ng credential sa library system nyo, pwede nyo i-click yung one day. Tapos, um, kung makikita nyo dito, it uh, papapipiliin po kayo if you want to require a passcode. Um, unfortunately, sa Philippines, hindi pa siya available itong, um, itong feature na to. So, okay lang tong no SMS passcode. Yan. Sa ibang countries pa lang siya available. If kasi available na to and clinic nyo si, si SMS passcode, hindi rin kayo makamove forward. Yan. So, save lang. Ayan. Makikita nyo dito sa baba. Content expires November 12, 2020. Yan. So, if you... Ay, I'm sorry. Yan. Mag-sample tayo. Kanyara. Yeah. I'll send this to my other email. Confidential sample. Click okay. lang yung send. And ganito po yung mangyayari. Ganito po yung magiging um Itsura niya pag tiningnan niyo siya sa sent items. Yan. So, meron ditong um, content expires November 12, 2020 hanggang bukas. Then, pwede niyo siyang i-remove yung access anytime kung kayo yung nag-send nun. So, ano po ba yung feature ng confidential mode? Pag po naka-confidential mode, um, hindi po makakapag-download um, yung recipient nyo nung attachment. So, hindi, siya, hindi niya mada-download, hindi niya mabu-forward, and pag nag-expire na yung access niya, hindi na niya makikita sa inbox niya yung um, yung message nyo. Yun. So, ganun po siya. Teka lang, iti-check ko if I have a delegated. Ah, wala. Okay. So, um, pwede ba tong isend sa non-Gmail user? Yes, pwede siya. Pero, ang lalabas doon, halimbawa, if, ya, if Yahoo po yung um, user nyo, ang lalabas doon, hihingan pa siya ng authentication. Ikiklik lang niya yung yes sa or send authenticate um, send code, then mai-email sa kanila, tapos ilalagay lang nila yung authentication code, then saka lang nila mabubuksan yung email na yon. So again, pwede sa pwede siyang isend sa email sa Gmail, pwede din siyang isend sa non-Gmail. Okay? Next po, next feature is the um schedule send. So 
ito din, um, very effective ito. If you are a workaholic person and you don't want to disturb your colleagues, you can schedule sending your email. Example, if you are working um, on Saturday, tapos meron kayong gustong i-remind dun sa kawork nyo or sa other librarians and you don't want to disturb them. And um, ginagawa na ko to if halimbawa ay kunyari gagawa ako ng email tapos gusto ko pagpasok pa lang niya ng 8 o'clock, mababasa na niya ito, i-schedule ko siya ng sending na i-send siya yung email na to at 8 o'clock a.m. So, pagbukas ng email ni um, colleague, unang-una niyang mababasa yung email ko. ba? Okay? So, to do that, click compose. Yan. So, dapat po may recipient muna po kayo dito. Yan. Create muna kayo ng email. So, kunyari, uh, mag-email ako, tapos reminder. Task, kunyari. Yan. Is a reminder to, kunyari, submit your um, report. Yan. Then, kung um, titingin kayo dito sa send, meron kayo makikita ang small uh, arrow, right? Yan. Click nyo lang siya, then click schedule send. So, pipiliin po kayo kung kailan nyo siya gustong isend. Kung tomorrow, this afternoon, or sa Monday na. Pero meron din ditong um, customized date and time. So, kunyari gusto ko tong matanggap niya ng... Okay, sige. 10.58 a.m. today. Then, send. Okay. So, saan yung makikita po? Dito siya sa scheduled. Pag tinik nyo yung scheduled, nandito po yung ginawa yung um, scheduled email. Ayan. So, pag tinik nyo yan, pwede, kayo, pwede nyo siyang i-cancel at any time hanggat hindi pa na nasesend yung email nyo. Ayan. So, kunyari, ay, nagkamali ako, cancel ko na yung sending. Ayan. So, anong mangyayari? Magiging draft lang siya. Tapos, kunyari, gusto nyo this afternoon na 1 o'clock na lang, yan. Pwede nyo pa rin siyang baguhin anytime na um, anytime you want or anytime na if you feel na may mali dun sa in-email nyo. So, with that, pwede nyo i-check pa siya before ma-receive ng recipient. Okay? Next feature is template. This is also one of my favorite. If you are like us na gumagawa ng mga user um, access, di ba, if halimbawa gumawa kayo ng access nila sa library system or kahit anong system, um, bibigyan nyo sila ng credentials, right? Di ba? I-email nyo sila, ito yung credentials mo, this is how you um, do it, um, dito ka mag dito ka magda-log in, ganun. So, kung paulit-ulit lang naman yung message mo, might as well na gumawa ka na ng template para i-click mo lang siya and um, pagka-click mo nun, lalagyan mo na lang siya ng konting details pa. So, how to do that? Check nyo muna yung compose if meron na kayong templates dyan. Yan. So, dito po sa three dots, makikita nyo yung templates. Yan. Pero, if wala kayong makita ang templates dito, ibig sabihin, hindi pa naka-activate yung um, templates sa inyong setting. So, to do that, pupunta kayo dito sa setting. See all setting. Ayan. Then, click advance. Yan. Hanapin nyo po itong si template. Tapos, um, naka-disable yan, yan yung ano niya, default niya, you just need to enable it and then click save changes. So, hindi naka, um, ano yung, naka, 
hindi naka-enable yung save changes ko kasi talaga naka-enable na siya sa akin. Okay? Ayan. So, again, all settings, then advanced, click enable sa template, then go na sa compose. Ayan. Tapos, punta na po sa more option, makikita nyo na yung template. Ayan. So, ngayon, dinilit ko kasi yung ginawa kong template, kaya wala kayong makikita dyan. Para gumawa, syempre, um, gawa muna tayo ng gagawin nating message. Dear, tapos kunyari, wala ka pa namang sesendan. Is, is your kunyari, library account. Ayan. Tapos, username. Password. Log in, and go to yan, kunyari ito yung ano nyo ha at library dot edu dot ph ayan yung um, system nyo thank you yan. so click o yun Click po natin yung more, then templates, then save draft as template. Yan. Save, then save as new template. Okay, natin library account. Then click save. Okay? So, once na pumunta na kayo ulit sa compose, pupunta lang kayo sa more, then template, tapos I, um, select nyo lang itong library account kung ano man yung template na ginawa then yan, meron ka ng um, message tapos ilalagay mo na lang dito yung username mo and password Kanyari, example. tapos pwede mo na siyang i-confidential mode para hindi niya ma sesend sa iba then click send. Diba? So, ang bilis natin siyang magagawa. Okay? Yan. So, next feature ng um, Gmail na pwede na pa rin natin gamitin or um, i-maximize is the email delegation. Ito naman po, kinagamit namin siya if halimbawa, you have your library email. Um, in our case, doh uh, library at gmail.com. And you want um, to connect that to your email. So, bibigyan dapat ni doh library at gmail.com ng delegation. Ide-delegate niya yung email kay Maricel. So, para makita niyo po yan, pakita ko sa inyo yung email ko. Yung totoong email ko. <laughs> Yan. So, this is my email. And pag clinic nyo po ito, yung picture nyo dyan, makikita nyo dito yung mga emails na nakadelegate sa akin. So, nakadelegate ako dun sa isang email na ginagamit ko for training. Nakadelegate yung DOH web team sa akin, yung central library, and yung isa pang email. So, paano siya ginagamit? Ayan. Um, ano yung use ng email delegation? If nakadelegate sa'yo yung email, hindi mo na kailangang mag-login uh, pa doon sa other email para lang ma-access mo siya. So, example, Nandito ako sa email ko, gusto kong puntahan yung um, email ng team namin. So, puntahan ko lang ito, click ko lang tong picture ko, then punta ko dito sa DOH web. Yan. So, kung makikita nyo, nandito lang siya sa, next, um, sa second tab, pero nandito pa rin yung email ko. So, hindi ako umalis, hindi ako naglagay ng email and password, napuntahan ko siya agad. So, yun po yung isang use ng email delegation. So, how to do that? Click nyo lang yung settings. See all settings. Yan. 
Tapos, um, wait lang po. Wait lang po. Email the location. Sorry, hindi nyo makikita dyan kasi nakadelegate siya. See all settings. Tapos, dito po tayo sa account and import. Um, usually, pang fourth siya na tab sa settings. Tapos, um, dito po siya sa grant access to your account. So, ilalagay nyo lang dito yung account na bibigyan nyo ng delegation. Again, ito ay ginagamit Halimbawa, for the office um, um, email. Kung ito ay personal nyo, huwag nyo bigyan ng delegation yung iba kasi personal email nyo to. Yan. So, kunyari, ito yung um, library email. Click nyo lang yung add another account. Tapos, ilalagay nyo dito yung email nyo. Tapos, next step lang. Then, magkakaroon siya ng uh, message na humihingi siya ng... Um, approval na idinelegate mo yung email mo do para doon sa um, office email. So, i-accept lang yon and within 7 days may makikita kayong um, message dito. Then, if nakadelegate na po siya, pwede doon na siyang uh, ma-check dito sa inyong profile kung meron ng email delegate na delegated sa inyo. So, ano po ba yung ginagawa Paano po ba din ginagamit yung, yung email delegation? Um, maliban sa makikita mo na agad yung inbox ng um, email na nakadelegate sa'yo, you can send email then on behalf of that of this email. So, paano po? Kunyari, um, clinic ko, balik tayo, clinic ko ang um, Email na ito. Tapos, i-email ko po si training ng sample email. Yan. Pag sinend ko yan, ang lalabas dyan, marireceive po nung panagsendan nyo Yung email, ganito po siya. Yan. Ang nakalagay po dito is yung um, email ng team, yung email name ng team, pero nakalagay dito sent by that email. Yung email ko. So, makikita nyo, if you are uh, managing, marami kayo na nagmamanage ng office email nyo, Pwede yung makita, matra kung sino ang nag-send ng email na ito. So, ayun. That's one of the use of email delegation. Okay? Ayan. Ito yung in-email ko kanina. So, sent by marcelpaya at gmail.com. Okay? So, um, okay pa po ba tayo? Okay? So, now, we will um, move forward sa um, other tools that we are using. Yeah. So, tapos na po tayo sa email. Now, we will, um, I, will, I will share to you the features of Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and if possible pa po, since we have limited time, I will share to you the uh, feature of Google Keep. Okay? So, Google Drive, it's a simply a, an online version of folders that we are using to organize our files. So, we can, um, we can upload different file formats such as documents, 
um, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, we can also upload videos, PDF, and also what is good about this tool is we, ha we can share it to our colleagues, right? Okay, so, so we have here the folders. Ito yung mga sinasabi nating mga folders. Um, ito yung my drive. Ito yung mga files that you are um, you see um, that you are um, uploading and you are creating. So ito yung mga drive ko. Then share with me are the files that has been uh, that the files that have been shared to you by other um, email users. So example is this. Yan. So, ano yung pwede nating um, gamitin? Oh, uh, how can we maximize this drive? Okay. Um, if mayroon tayong shared files and you want to include that to your drive, pwede naman siya. Dati, um, this feature is called um, add to drive feature, but now it is um, parang shortcut ang ilalagay mo. So, or make a copy or yeah add shortcut to drive yeah so uh, paano ba siya ginagawa kunyari um gusto mong i-organize itong folder na to kasi if shared lang yung mga files dito hindi talaga siya naka-organize yan sample nito okay uh, meron ako dito shared na form and gusto ko siyang ilagay dun sa drive ko. So, right-click lang natin siya. Then, add shortcut to drive. Ayan. Tapos, um, you will be asked kung saan siya is to save. So, click the arrow. Ayan. So, if you want to create new folder, click the new folder. and Or, if you want to um, save that to the existing folder, just choose the folder that is that you want it to be saved. Ba? So click this, then add shortcut. So what will happen? It's still here, but if you go to my drive and to that um, to this folder, makikita nyo that it is also available in this um, folder. So meron lang siyang um, icon na this means that this is a shortcut um, drive shortcut okay so basically that's the feature of drive we also have the recent um, folder Ito naman yung mga recently opened and modified okay next is the google docs Sorry if it is a bit fast po ah. Don't worry kasi it's in the, these are all in the um, presentation. Okay? So, okay. so for the Google Docs, let's, let me just. For the Google Docs, you can um, access that by clicking this um, Google app icon. Then choose the Google Drive and go to the folder where the doc is available. Ayan. Ay, mali, mali. Ayan. So I will go here and Wala pala akong ginawa dito. So, recent na lang. Ayan. This is a sample um, file po that I made. Ayan. So, i-explore lang natin yung feature niya. So, ano ba yung mga feature ng Google Docs that we can use? We, um, how do, uh, do, how can we maximize this? Okay. Yeah. So insert image, we can insert image 
directly from our computer or from our drive and far or from the web. So to do that, just click the insert and image. So mamimili lang kayo dyan. Pwede upload from computer, search, search the web. Um, pra, um, from drive, from photos, by URL, kung alam nyo na yung URL. Yan. So, this image is uploaded from the drive. So, how did I do that? Click insert, then image, select drive, and ayan. Napin lang natin kung asan siya. Pero most Uh, makikita nyo yung recent sa mga ginamit nyo. So, kunyari ito, nasa share siya kasi it is shared. Then, select that, then click insert. Yan. So, yan. Yan na siya. Next is insert table. So, again, same thing siya with the um, feature of, Google, uh, of Microsoft Word. You can insert table by clicking insert, then insert table. Yan. Then, you will be asked po, how many rows, how many columns. Then, click insert. So, bakit ko ito ba ginawa? Kasi the features that I, uh, that I want you to focus on is the um, publish to web feature. Yan. So, ano ibig sabihin ng publish to web? Um, if you connect this, kung, uh, or if you want to ask, if saan ba pwedeng gamitin yung Google Docs, um, maliban sa collaboration, pwede nyo siyang gamitin sa pagpapublish ng mga um, collections na available. Example is this. Ayan. Kunyari, this is one of the um, COVID-19 um, COVID resource. So, ang gusto ko lang ipakita dito is you can um, present this by uh, making a table then giving the link in the sa next column pero to display it ng mas maganda you can use the insert link function so example is this to do that kunyari ito chest imaging Tapos, kukunin mo lang yung link. Copy. Tapos, um, yan. Choose the word. Then, click link. Then, um, insert the link. Then, apply. Yan. If you have this already, you can publish na the web uh the docs to the web so anong ibig sabihin noon magiging available siya publicly so if the document is confidential don't do that but if you are um compiling a list of resources for a certain topic like covid-19 you can use this publish to web feature para um ma-present siya nang mas maayos so To do that, click the file, then um, publish to web. So, ayan. Meron naman siyang, there's a note here that tells that this will make your content visible to everyone by publishing it to the web. And you can link or embed your document. So, you have two options, link or embed. So, what is the difference of these two? So, link means... Um, If someone has this link, ayan, ito yung makikita nyo. Publish siya sa web. So, ganito siya. Buong um, page ang makikita. So, if embedded naman, my gosh, papakita ko kayo, papakitaan ko kayo ng HTML code. <laughs> And if embedded, this is usually used if you are, um, if you have a website and you want to embed this document to your website, okay? So, to have an idea about that, ganito po ang itsura niya. Nyari. Wait lang. I'll just get the link. Oops, where is it? 
publish. Yeah. So, ilalagay niyo lang siya dun sa source. I'll make it 2000. You don't have to do this po, ah. I just want it, I just want this for you to see the link. Yeah. So, masyado lang maliit, pero ganito po siya. Naka-embed siya sa website nyo. So, that's the difference between the um, publish to web and yung publish using embedding. Yeah. Next. Next is the feature na edit, suggest, view, and comments. Yan. So, ano ba ito? Ito yung, uh, I know a lot of you knows na this one, but we will focus on suggest feature because this is... Um, so useful if you are having a collaborative editing with your colleagues. Okay? So, if you are not yet familiar, you can use this feature by clicking this one, this editing icon. So, click the um, what do you call this? Click the um, drop down button, then um, choose suggesting. Yeah. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Anyta, if you are familiar with the Microsoft Word's um, edit, uh, ano yun? review, review feature, this is same with that. So, to do that example, this one, insert link. I want this to be insert a link. A link or something. Kung makikipya nyo, if you have noticed, um, meron ditong uh, suggestion na si Maricel ay nagdagdag ng A. So, hindi siya magte-take effect unless the person or the other colleague um, accept the suggestion. Okay? Yan. So, example of this also is if you want to um, delete this one, yan. Makikita niyo lang na ini-slash lang niya pero the um the changes is not yet applied unless it is checked or it is accepted. So kunyari this is not accepted if ni reject siya, hindi siya mag apply That's suggest function. So view view meaning lang you can um edit the ano uh, edit the document you just have the view um, function. You cannot um, edit it. You cannot delete anything. You cannot add anything. That's basically the view function. And comment. So how can we maximize comment feature? So comment, we can use this to assign people or to assign a staff to do a certain um for portion of the document example if you are if you want to assign this one this is insert a link um portion to a certain um person you just have to uh, highlight that then click comment and mention the email of the person example i am assigning this to this person, then click assign. Yeah. So what's ano? Okay. Comment then. So ano yung ano niya? Ano yung um use niya? If you are not assigning this to a certain person or you did not mention her, hindi siya makaka receive ng email. Na this is for you to to do this is for you to accomplish yan so if naka-assign siya may email na matatanggap itong email na to and ma-notify siya na 
ito yung dapat niyang gawin. You can add comment pa para magkaroon siya ng um, idea on what to do. So, that's all. Then, and another um, feature of this Google Docs na hindi ko mapapakita sa inyo because this is not shared is yung chat. I think you are all familiar of that. A chat is available in, in this document. And also, um, the sharing. Ayan. So, um, I will just share to you kung ano-ano ba yung pinagkaiba nung share with these people or with this group or and share or sharing the link itself. So, pag share lang po, um, automatically na magkakaroon sila, manonotify sila na na-share mo yung um, certain document. But if you get the link, you have to check if you want them to edit the document or if you want them to be a viewer lang or a commenter or a commenter. Yeah. So you have to copy the link then put it or include it in your email. Okay? So that's it. Now let's go to Google Sheets. Uh, we're running out of time. I would like to share to you this monitoring. Yeah. So if you can see this monitoring, this is um, as an example of a monitoring of the information that is requested and facilitated by a library. So pinalitan ko lang yung pangalan. Then I put user type, kailan ni request, the date, the information was sent to the requester. So how many days process and the process was shot within the day or not and the status on the month number and requested. So what I want you to look into this is that this monitoring tool is very useful for the library. So, saan natin siya magagamit? Paano natin siya gagawin? Kung makikita niyo dito, ito ay parang system na siya, parang database na siya. If wala siyang um, nakalagay dito na um, date pending yung status niya. So, this is the raw data. Kung makikita niyo. Yan, wala pa. Wala pa siya. And kung meron na siyang custom formatting, automatic siya na magkakaroon ng status. Example, January 27, hindi pa siya na-sent until now. So, hindi pa siya na-process within the day and pending pa siya. If we put here the date, oops, wait. Hindi siya, ano? Kanyari na-process siya ng January 27, automatic siyang magiging done. And since siya ay same date, yes, ang kanyang process within the day. So, what I use here are um, formulas that we can also use sa Excel. But um, the... Kung ano, yung, ano ba yung mas maganda dito? You don't need to um, save this any, every time. So, this is a... Uh, real-time editing document. So, anytime that you add um, information here, you don't need to um, click save because wala naman talaga siyang save. Diba? So, another feature of Google Sheet is um, makikita mo kung saan yung um, version history niya. Yan. So, kailan siya huling na-edit? Sino yung nag-edit sa kanya? And Ang pinaka latest na addition doon is that any cell that you click and you right click, makikita mo yung edit history niya. Um, siguro this uh, feature is nadagdag lang siya two or one month ago. So if you click on that, makikita mo who edited this um, uh, this 
cell at ano yung inedit niya. So, I added, yun yare. So, I added the 2-5-2020 noong November 10 at 11.09 p.m. So, kagabi lang yan. So, don't worry if you can't, um, if hindi po kayo makasunod dito sa mga pinapakita ko kasi nandito po lahat ito and isesend ko po ito sa inyo. So, these are the formula that I use. If functions, network days, blank function, left, array formula, and conditional formatting. And this is the, uh, these are the URLs of this um, functions para mapag-aralan nyo. Ito yung mga example. Yan. Balik tayo. Yan. So, dito sa process within one day, um, explain ko lang, ito po ay network days. Ay, no. This, this one. This one pala. Day. Day or days process. Network days ito. Meaning, hindi kasama yung um, Sabado and Linggo dito. So, with that, hindi mabibilang yung Sabado and Linggo Kung halimbawa na tanggap mo yung request ng Friday tapos nagginawa mo siya ng um, ng Monday, so to yung ano niya, hindi siya hindi sasama yung two days na uh, weekend. So it then uh, I use I use also the conditional formatting to do that click nyo lang yung um se, uh, itong click all lang or Select all lang, then um, sa format, click conditional formatting. So, makikita nyo dito, may conditional formatting akong ginawa. Ayan. So, ito yung range ng cell na for the formatting and naka-custom formula siya. Nasabi niya that dito na if pending yung H2, which is the status, if pending siya, magiging yellow yung um, row niya. So, basically, that's the condition. And marami pa siyang available conditions here. So, you just have to explore that. Okay? So, next na tayo. I hope nakaka, na, na kukuha nyo yung mga pinapakita kong feature. But don't worry. It's in the presentation and isasend ko rin sa inyo lahat ng example. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa Google Keep because this is one of the, I think, konti lang yung gumagamit nito. But sabi ko nga, this is one of my favorite tools ng Google. Why? Because this is very useful if you are, if you want to organize yourself, if you want to organize the team, and you want to um, note something, you have to um, use Google Keep. So, saan ko rin siya ginagamit? Um, sorry sa mga um, may security issues dito, pero ako kasi ay um, hindi masyadong hindi ko masyadong naaalala yung mga passwords ko. So, I use Google Keep because it is very useful to me. Dinalagay ko dito yung mga password ko. Pero, syempre, hindi ko papakita dito. Okay? So, and um, one thing that is good about this tool is that this is already in your inbox, in your Gmail. So if you have noticed these icons, these small icons, this is the Google Calendar, this is the Google Keep, and this is the Google Plus. So kung hindi nyo to nakikita, if you can't see this, um, you have to click this arrow here. Click here, then it will be shown. So if you um, click Keep, yeah, all the notes that is in the Keep that Google.com that you did are here. Yeah. So how can we maximize Google Keep? Yeah. We can connect Google Keep sa ating Gmail, sa calendar, and sa reminder. So example. Example, I am here in the um, inbox of my Gmail and I have here an example email and I want to have a note about this. Kunyari, this is a reminder that I have to um, 
uh, to submit something. So what I need to do is I just have to click the kit. Then, oops, sorry, take a note. So if you have noticed, there's a link here for this email. So check this. Then done. Oops, sorry, hindi siya na. Check this. So, nakakonect siya dito. So, anytime na um, kahanapin ko yung email na to because I want to check it, pupunta lang ako sa note, sa Google Keep, tapos hahanapin ko lang siya, ikiklik ko lang siya. Then, mag uh, appear na siya sa other tab. Ayan. That's how easy it is. Next, you can connect Google Keep sa inyong Google Calendar. Example, I have here a 9 a.m. meeting tomorrow with my team. So, if I click this, ayan. May agenda kami na team accomplishments and target. But I want to have a note for myself na I have to um, present the status, present the challenges, and brainstorm with them kung ano ba yung gagawin naming um, planning. Yan. But, syempre, I don't want them to see my notes. So, hindi ko siya ilalagay dito sa details. Rather, ilalagay ko siya dito sa notes. So, ito yung example. Ginawa ko na siya. So, ikiklik nyo lang ulit yung take a note. Then, you can um, put here your um, notes. Then, click done. Okay. So, every time that you're in the calendar, Google Calendar, and you want to check on this, the note will pop up then. So, kahit na may nauna, like, example po, um, this is the note that I made kanina, yung team meeting, di ba may mas nauna siya, kasi mas recent siya, mas nauna siya kaysa dito sa um, note ko na ginawa for this calendar. But, if I click on this, mas makikita mo siya sa unahan. So, any, anything na ilagay mo na connected dito sa calendar, pag clinic mo siya, mapupunta siya sa unahan. Same with the um, inbox. So, what I want to tell you about that is kahit na nasa ilalim na ito, kahit ang dami ko ng note na linagay, if clinic ko siya, pupunta siya sa taas. Pupunta siya sa taas. So, siya yung magiging priority. So, how that's how you can maximize Google Keep. And, of course, since this is a note-taking um, application, para siyang um, sticky notes, if you, are, um, if you are familiar on that, you can also create checklists like this. So, this is the checklist that I made when... Um, I was the speaker of the Librarian's Toolbox ng PNU Lisaa. So, I have to do the presentation, the, the training account, and the workshop. Yeah. So, if you are finished on that, ikiklik mo lang yung check. If not, kunyari ito. Yeah. So, I am done with presentation. So, pupunta siya sa baba. I am done with the training account. I made that already. And... Since this is a task within the task, so if ever I'm done with the Google Docs and Google Sheet and I'm not yet done with Google Keep and Menti and Idea Boards, hindi naman siya maapektuhan kasi yung uh, tapos na, yun lang yung ilalagay natin dito. So if I am done with all the workshop, I can click this all. So... If you are an organized at super organized na person then and you are um, thinking na medyo messy na yung Google Keep mo, you can archive this one. Where is it? Yan? Oh, wait. Yan. 
click the archive and mawawala na siya dito. But it doesn't mean that it, that is already deleted. So, para makita mo yung mga nasa archives mo, andito siya. And since this is also, um, I think, pag naglagay ka dito ng label, kung ito ay pang portal, kunyari, yan, even if, even if this is in the archives, pag pumunta ka sa portal management, andito rin siya. So, hindi po mawawala yung mga notes mo unless you delete it. Okay? Yan. So, saan, ano pa yung um, use ng Google Keep? You can use that for um, bookmarking some of the uh, important links like this. So, this is uh, what we use to generate strong passwords and embedding videos from Facebook. Yeah. So, ginagamit namin yan sa website. And I think that's all for the features of some of the Google collaborative tools. If you have questions, um, I think I can answer na po. Yeah. So thank you for participating and for listening. So do you have any questions? Okay, so thank you so much, Ma'am Maricel. We have several questions here. Oh my God. Okay. All right, so ready na po kayo? Okay po. Sorry. Okay. So first question. Okay. Um, sabi po dito, uh, oh actually we have one participant who is English speaker. Sorry, I'm sir. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sir. Uh, we hope you were able to grasp. Uh, I'm sorry. I will send na lang the presentation. <laughs> And the tools that I use. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so first question from Ma'am Veronica de Villa. Villa, can we make use of that feature in sending copy of an ebook to our patrons? Um, Which, or maybe she's referring to the confidential. Confidential. Yes, you can, okay. but they cannot um, download the attachment. So that's how confidential it is. Hindi nila pwedeng i-download, hindi nila mapo-forward yung um, attachments. Okay, so pwede lang po silang mag-view. Tama ba? Yes, yes. Okay. Also, a question from one of our attendees. Ang gusto niya ay anonymous daw siya. Okay, so we have here, is there a feature where the recipient would not be able to screenshot the attachment or the content of the email? Parang wala po. Kahit sa confidential mode, yun din yung note doon na um, hindi na natin controlled if in-screenshot nila kasi ibang ano na siya. That's a different tool. Halimbawa, in-snipping tool nila. So my advice for that is if you are um, sending a credentials, uh, i-highlight nyo siya ng black. Mm -hmm. So, meron doon na, halimbawa, username, tapos i-highlight nyo siya ng black para kahit i-screenshot nila, hindi nila makikita yung username and password. Um, makikita nila yung username and password pag um, yung highlight, tinanggal lang nila. Ganun lang siya. So, yun yung ginagawa namin kasi nga, pwede nila yung i-screenshot. Okay, so sa trick na lang pala siya dadaanin mm. lang. <laughs> okay, and then another one. What if the recipient won't be able to open the mail after expiration date? Um, 
the record of the email that you sent via confidential mode is still in your sent items. So, nakalagay lang doon, um, ni-remove nun na yung access. So, you can, anytime pwede nyo po siyang i-enable um, the access of it. So, kung nag-expire na siya, uh, mawawala siya doon sa recipient nyo, pero pag in-enable nyo, makikita niya ulit yun. So, you just have to schedule again kung hanggang kailan nyo siya i-enable. Uh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Next one po. Um, magsisend pa rin po ba yung scheduled message sa date na yun if nagkataon po na walang internet or brown out sa date na yun? Yes po. Mm. Okay, so alam na natin. Pwede pa <laughs> scheduled message. Okay. Um, okay, may uh, another one we have here. Uh, what add-ons would you suggest for email management, task checking, reminders, and multiple email sending? Add-ons daw po, ma'am. Um, actually, kaya nyo na po siyang gawin kahit walang add-ons eh. Example, if you are sending multiple emails, ah, if you are sending an email for multiple um, recipients, you can use the Google Contacts. So, gumawa kayo ng contacts. Halimbawa, um, uh, example ko na lang yung sa akin. I have a group sa contacts na for for our division and for our KMIT. So, every time na i, uh, i -send, magsisend ako ng email for them, ikiklik ko lang yung uh, itatype ko lang yung KMD kuyari, for our division. Tapos, andun na lahat ng contacts nila. Um, pero, if you want add-on, uh, na-try ko na sa email yung GMAS. I think yun, yun pa lang yung available na add-on for Gmail. GMAS siya. G-M-A-S-S. -S, ata. Um, that's for, para siya, if you are familiar for mail merging, that's the feature of that. Parang mini-mail merge niya yung email mo. Parang to, tapos yung name, name and ano and um, email, then your message mo. Pwede yon GMAS, and for the, uh, ano pa pa yung tanong nila, add-ons? Uh, for the Google Sheet, or if you are using uh, Google Sheets, Docs, and Slides, you can add, or you can install Autocrat. Mail merging din yon Pero um, meron po siyang mga limitations like I think auto, for, for the autocrat, you can only send 50 emails a day. So, okay. Pwede niyo po siyang gamitin. Autocrat for the... Um, hindi ko na kasi sinama yung Google Slide pero if you can see doon sa presentation ko, I embedded the slide do. Um, para siyang version din ng Mentimeter, pero yon embedded siya. Add-on siya sa Google Slide. You can also uh, add um, or install, ano pa ba yung ginagamit ko? Yung, teka, iti-check ko. <laughs> Icons for Slides and Docs. Um, for the free images or mga vector, uh, pwede nyo yung i-install. For Docs naman ay... Google Docs, I installed um, yung mga um, teka, I'll check ha. <laughs> ano ba yung mga ini-install ko? You just have to explore kasi. Um, for the Docs, ang alam ko yung mga parang AP, for the APA format ano, um, add-ons para magkaroon kayo ng uh, ano pa yung tawag doon? Uh, referencing, yon <laughs> di ko masabi. The referencing add-ons, that's very useful kasi once you um, search using Gmail, uh, using Google, pag nasa docs kayo, you can already um, add the referencing. Kahit APA man yan, MLA man yan. So you just have to explore po kung anong ano, kung ano yung mga available dyan. But, 
ang advice ko sa inyo is to read first kasi there are um, add-ons na medyo risky. So, you have to think before you click. And tingnan nyo yung rating. If maganda naman yung rating, maganda yung review. Para lang kasi kayong nag, namimili din ng products. If maganda yung review, you can you can install that. Ayan. So, katulad ng pag-review natin sa Shopee tsaka sa yeah. Lazada. <laughs> <laughs> so, kailangan din po nating ma-review and just the same when we do selection in our library collection, ay nagbabasa din tayo, right? Ayan. Even for the open access na ginagamit natin, nagbabasa din tayo kung peer-reviewed sila, kung how um, authoritative ba yung mga records. So, katulad din doon. And then, ayun, sa lahat po, everyone, uh, for everyone was Who's asking for the soft copy of the presentation? Yes, we will be sending through your email. Ayan, next question, ma'am. And uh, before that, I would like to acknowledge Ma'am Roda, our interpreter for this morning. So, pinalitan po niya si Ma'am uh, Mar Rosalie. Okay. Ayan, so, okay. Question po, ma'am. Um, from Ma'am Malu Palermo. Do we need an administrator who would manage that system? Thank the you. Google po? No. <laughs> I think no because it's free. But if you are using Google Suite for education, um, alam ko may, may certain restrictions yung iba. So you have to ask your IT if, for example, the email delegation, some of the um, organizations are not enabling that pero i don't see any threat on that you just have to check po kasi baka hindi lang naman nila na enable kasi ano lang siya bagong feature so um my advice is to ask your it your um email um administrator if you are using um g suite for education po or, or g suite for your organization pero if this is if you are using um, personal emails, you don't have to ask your, or uh, you don't have to, uh, you don't need any um, administrator. You just have to explore because it's free. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Um, in relation to G Suite, ma'am, uh, here's another question. Sabi niya, good morning, ma'am. I am working from school and... We are using G Suite for school. My question is, can I delete my account that cannot be retrieved, like email attachment, drive link, even if, even by the administrator? How is it possible? I medyo may kulang siguro. Pero may question is, um, pwede daw po ba niyang i-delete yung account niya? I think you have to ask your email administrator po. Kasi um, I am not that familiar sa G Suite because we're not using G Suite po. Ah. Pero what I know about that is there's there's an email administrator. And if you are using G Suite, it means it's for work. So work email. And um, depending on the... Um, on the setting of your organization, the your email should be um, the a property of your organization. So, for example, if you are a staff, halimbawa ako, I'm a staff of BOH. If I resign, all of my email should be um, should be retained in the DOH because it's work email. So, ang suggestion ko sa inyo, ang advice ko sa inyo, uh, don't use your um, official email for uh, personal use. So, make make a Gmail or make a separate email for your personal use, like kung sa Shopee or anything. Don't connect it to your work email. Um, Anytime kasi, pag Google, ang alam ko kasi po, pag Google Suite, um, if you, halimbawa, nag-resign ka or if you retired, um, the admin of that email 
of your organization can um, mm. download your email and give it to you. Parang yun yung madadownload, madidelete nila yon. Pwede yon kasi it's a uh, work email. So I I just I'm not just so sure po because I'm not using this with pa. Kasi wala ko sa school. <laughs> yon. Pero yon, siguro to be sure, don't use it for personal use. Okay. And I think they don't have naman po the access to your email. Hindi nila, hindi naman nila makikita yung mga emails mo ngayon. But in the future, they have I think they have to delete that or ano for future for for ano ren for space then siguro kasi ang alam ko if you are in the organization, it is paid. But if you are in the school, I think it's free. Tama po ba ako? Sorry, I am not from school kasi. <laughs> I think so, ma'am. Uh, free na may pinibigay po si DICP sa DepEd naman. Mm -hmm. Meron din naman pong binigay si DICP for DOST and it's free also. Yes, ma'am. Yung mga free from DICP, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> ano siya, may free siya. And, but there's limitation po, di ba, right? There are certain gig that you need to maximize. Yes po. So, G-Suite na pala kayo, ma'am. Yes po. Ayan. <laughs> Hindi pa lang na, 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 na explore yung <laughs> gamit. So, thank you so much. At least, uh, with your talk today, naka-explore na kami. Okay. Next question, ma'am. Uh, what is the reason why others may hack email addresses? Any suggestions to protect our email account? Think before you click. <laughs> um, do not um this is true for everyone do not um open attachments that are not from um from do not um do not open attachment na you are not too familiar with especially if it is not that docs or that um um, Excel or na or PowerPoint or if lalo na pag nakita nyo na may mga HTML attachments, don't open that. And also, wag na po kayo makurious sa mga spam. <laughs> wag yun na lang siyang i-open, lalo na yung mga attachments. And um, be sure na nagpapalit kayo ng password regularly. Because password is very important in securing your emails. Same with your Facebook account, with your Twitter or other social media accounts. Always um, protect your password. And if possible, um, mag ano po kayo? Mag avail kayo ng mga yung mga two-way authentication. For example, sa email, hindi mo mabubuksan for other devices if hindi nag-send ng code sa cellphone mo. Mas okay na yon kesa pabayaan nyo yung email mo. Okay. So, thank you so much, ma'am. So, kailangan uh, regular daw po yung pagpapalit natin ng password. Okay, um, another question. But I think this was already answered. But if the recipient won't be able to up open the email after expiration date, so nasagot na po ni ma'am, uh, i-enable na lang daw po ulit natin so that the recipient will be able to um, see the email. Okay, for everyone also who's asking kung may evaluation or kung may um, attendance po tayo, uh, the attendance will be based on your... Um, Evaluation. So, uh, yung mga sasagot po mamaya ng evaluation form, sila po yung mabibigyan din po ng uh, e-certificate po. Okay, so um, please uh, don't go away yet. Okay, uh, hanggang matapos po natin itong morning session. Okay, so um, I think we have no more question. Thank you so much, Ma'am Maricel. Okay. Thank you, Po. Okay, so, um,
Thank you very much for um, your questions, for, for uh, your participation. We will now have the vir virtual or awarding of <laughs> certificate, and this will be awarded by our supervising science research specialist, Ma'am Linderlit M. Maglak. Hello, good morning everyone. Good morning, Ma'am Maricel. Good morning, Ma'am Roda. And so in behalf of the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute, we would like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Maricel C. Paya for being our resource speaker in the webinar entitled Improving Library Services Using Google Collaborative Tools given this 11th day of November 2020 via Zoom, signed by our director, Director Richard P. Borgo. So, Ma'am Maricel, thank you very much po for sharing your expertise in using Google Collaborative Tools. And then also, we would like to present the Certificate of Participation to all of our participants for this day for having participated in the webinar entitled Improving Library Services Using Google Collaborative Tools given this 11th day of November 2020 via Zoom, signed by our director, Director Richard T. Burgo. So, sa lahat po na nag-participate today, thank you very much po. And also, sana po maka-attend kayo sa next session po namin, uh, Topic 4 and Topic 5 for tomorrow uh, session. So, again, so thank you very much po. Huwag po muna kayong mag-out. Uh, mag so, turn over ko po ulit kayo sa ating moderator. Thank you again. Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Linder. Okay, um, before we proceed to the evaluation, we will uh, just give some announcements. Okay, next. next slide, please. See, next. Uh, next one. Okay, so um, we will be having again our uh, last topic, two topics for tomorrow. The first one in the morning will be delivered by our director. How to speak on digital stage and capture the limelight. And then this after, uh, tomorrow's afternoon will be control your records bef before they control you. The basics of records management and records controlled by Mr. Martin Julius V. Perez. Okay, and then we will also be having our National Science and Technology Week celebration that will run from November 23 to November 29, 2020 with the theme Agham at Teknolohiya, Sandigan ng Kalusugan, Kayusan, Kabuhayan, at Kinabukasan. So we have the uh, following program of activities. Okay, for November 23, we will have our virtual opening ceremony and presser. Um, mapapanood po yung live streaming through uh, DUSTPH. So, uh, pwede po kayong manood sa aming virtual uh, opening ceremony. And then we will have uh, several sessions also. This will include remote learning experience of Philippine Science High School System and then COVID-19 initiative. We also have here launching of One Store Hub and then cybersecurity. Are we serious about it? Uh, these are actually topics that is already related, that is also related sa atin sa library. And then on November 24, magkakaroon po ng Indician Sha Film Exhibition, uh, Nutriflix, Disaster Resilience Summit on Earthquake and Volcano Preparedness for Kids. So invite nyo po yung mga um, kids, uh, it's either mga anak nyo po or kapatid ninyo to attend the session. And then on November 25, there will be a CEST forum and then online kwentuhan with SNT Idols. We also have here Tela Sustainability in Textile and Fashion. And on November 26, we have international collaboration in response to COVID-19. We will also have a lecture series and symposium for the youth. And then 
EPDC webinar, also I, DOST IPDI technical services for industries. On November 27, we will be having a Bambi, Bambo Musical Instruments or BMI virtual concert. So, uh, para mapasaya tayo. And then, uh, followed by food safety careers. What is it? What? Is it in food safety R&D? So yung mga mahilig pong mag-research, hey, uh, this is about food safety. And then, this will be followed by Science of Dreams. Why do I have nightmares and health boosters versus infections forum? Especially sa ngayon, uh, with this pandemic, kailangan po natin maging malusog. And then, this will be followed by Bagyo at Baha, Bat Bata at Matanda ay Ligtas webinar. And then on November 28, we will have Galing Picard contra COVID-19, Pagkain at Kabuhayan sa Pamayanan. This will be followed by Advanced Manufacturing Center or AMSEN Manufacturing Beyond the Conventional. Also, uh, followed by regulating nuclear facilities and activities in the Philippines. And finally, I start bridging gaps, reducing inequalities. Okay, for the last day, we will have the fourth Indian Film Exhibition, followed by DOSD courseware in science and mathematics for e-learning. So um, we will encourage everyone to also join this one. Uh, ilalabas po dito yung mga courseware na ginawa ng ating Science Education Institute for e-learning purposes. And then we have the Impex orientation. Okay? So pwede po tayong mag-join din or uh, sa mga activities and uh, we would encourage everyone to follow our N 2020 NSTW official TikTok at Instagram para sa kapanapanabik na content at para maging updated sa mga kaganapan sa 2020 NSTW. Okay? And finally, we have now our evaluation. So uh, sa mga nagtatanong po, Nasaan na yung link? Okay, so ito na po yung link ng ating evaluation. You can screenshot para makita nyo yung link and then the webinar code. Again, um, we will only be providing e-certificates for those who will be able to answer our evaluation form. Okay? Thank you so much for joining us this morning and we hope to see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay happy and God bless everyone. Hey, sa mga nagtatanong po ng evaluation link kahapon, please message us through Facebook or through email so that we can send it back to you. Okay. okay. Um, sir, paki flash na lang po ulit yung link ng feedback for yung today. Hi, so once again, para screenshot po yung ating uh, evaluation form link and the webinar code. Okay, case sensitive po yung ating link. So, and our, especially our code. So, kapag namali po yung capital letter or the small letter, uh, hindi po papasok yung code.
stay lang po po na kanya. And new rod at the end of the reservoir. everyone. Sa mga nandito pa po, uh, same po yung webinar link natin today with tomorrow. So yung mga uh, gusto pong mag-join tomorrow, same po yung ating webinar na nag webinar link na ginamit today. Thank you po.
Geraldine. Ay, webinar code po ngayon, ang tinatanong niyo po, nasa screen po, DOST-STII-Google. Paki-check na lang po yung uh, uh, nakakaps lock at nakasmall caps. Kung bukas naman po, yung link po yun, same po dun sa ginamit niyo po ngayon dito sa Zoom, yun din po yung gagamitin niyo tomorrow para makapasok po sa room. Thank you. Ma'am Christine Joy, um, sino pong speaker yung tinatanong niyo po ang evaluation form? Your e-certificates po will be forwarded uh, within uh, 10, ah, 7 working days po. So, um, we have um, Monday to Thursday working days po dito sa office. So, um, ang counting natin will start on Monday po. Um, medyo marami po kasi kayo, so um, hindi po namin siya masend kaagad. Um, once you're done with the evaluation, you can leave na po. Uh, Ma'am Julieta, we only have two um, speakers yesterday. Dalawa lang po yung session natin kahapon, ma'am. Ma'am Julieta, um, may know the speaker of the uh, session. Ma'am Lourdes, uh, ano po yung evaluation na tinatanong niyo po? Uh, 
Ma'am Lourdes, yung ngayon po na evaluation form, ito na pong nakapost. We have a separate uh, link naman po kahapon. If you're done with the evaluation form, okay lang po, pwede po kayong mag-leave. Yan. So, ito pong pinost uh, ni Ms. Kishan. Ito po yung um, evaluation form kahapon on um, God. Great. And the code yesterday's, uh, yesterday's session is DOST-STII-GENDER. Yes, Ma'am Gemma and Ma'am Jesusa, pwede po kayong mag-talk. Okay, Ma'am Gemma, iyan po yung link po kahapon. Um, sinend po ni Kishan Romulo and um, code is DOST-STII-Archives. Hello po. Ay na po ako sa registration, ay sa link kahapon. Dan na po. Okay na rin po kayo, Ma'am Gemma. Ma'am Vera Lu, um, can you check our, um, ito pong link na sinindication. Uh, we have here the link of the morning and the afternoon session. Kung alin po dyan yung kailangan nyo. So, since morning po, it's on archives po. Okay. 